For those of us who love the Lord, we're also watching ancient Bible prophecies being fulfilled before our very eyes. And the most repeated promise in the Old Testament is that God will return his people to the land. And Zionism is the attempt to reestablish the Jews in their land with their religious identity. You don't need to be a Jew to believe in Zionism, by the way. You can be a Gentile and still believe in the rights of the Jews over the land. Are you a Zionist? Because the world will portray you as racist if you call yourself Zionist. In today's progressive world, Judaism without Zionism neutralizes anti-Semitism. The two together are a major driving force for anti-Semitism. And anti-Semitism, according to Yad Vashem, is hatred of Jews as a people or of the Jew as a concept. According to Yad Vashem, the term anti-Semitism was first coined in the late 1870s. Subsequently, it is used with reference to all types of Jew hatred, both historical and contemporary. The word itself comes from the idea that Hebrew belongs to the Semitic language family, and thus Jews must be Semites. Many other languages also belong to the Semitic language family, such as Arabic or Aramaic or Amharic even of the Ethiopians. And therefore, other cultures could also be called Semites. However, there is no such thing as Semitism and no other groups have ever been included in the hatred and prejudice denoted by anti-Semitism. Geographically, by the way, Shem's descendants settled in the region of Israel, but extending all the way down through the Arabian Peninsula. But anti-Semitism started when the Jews became, began to fulfill their destiny, which God promised through Abraham to be a chosen and separated nation.